Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Unbelievable. Every year, the Feeding of the Multitude event kicks off the season of giving just a little early. News News Daniel Seda tells us how local nonprofits are coming together to help others. For 12 years, Feeding of the Multitude has brought one important message to the Low Country, and that's to gather together and to give back. For years, Feeding of the Multitude has been all about helping those in need while strengthening the community bond throughout the Low Country. It said it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes a community to help the people. Feeding of the Multitude started 12 years ago at one local church. 12 years later, there's 28 churches involved along with 12 nonprofits. It's grown and the relationships have grown and it's really a wonderful thing. There are at least four or 500 volunteers that are involved in the feeding of the multitude. Means of support include clothing, community resources, and prepared food to take home for Thanksgiving. A lot of people um, don't have family. A lot of people don't have um, the finance to have the kind of Thanksgiving that is offered here. Whatever you get today will last until Thanksgiving. Event manager Claudia Boy says those who can't attend are not forgotten. We sent out over 600 um, take home meals this morning to shut ins all over the islands. Boyce also tells me that it's a perfect time to give back and remind others the real purpose that this time of year brings. Originally, we did it because we wanted to make sure that everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving feast. And so that's what's our objective initially. But then we learned that it's much more than that. It's all about relations and, and coming together as a community. Leftovers from the event go to local organizations that provide food in the Low Country. In Johns Island, Danielle Seda, count on two.